Okay, so looking at uh, some immutable Linux distros at the moment, I have in the past previously we've looked at Blender OS and we've looked at uh, Xenia and we've looked at uh, Vanilla and of course Linux OS as well. But uh, a two of the other, you could say, even more popular immutable desktops at the moment is Fedora and of course uh, OpenSUSE. So today we're looking at Fedora Kinoite or Kinoite, sorry. Kinoite is a immutable edition of Fedora. Uh, the KDE is going to be precise and it's all atomic, it's all containerized, so you're installing your stuff again from flat packs and uh, it uses OPM, uh, RPM OS tree, has a toolbox and of course um, the idea is uh, that it will continuously keep itself uh, updated and if there's an issue you can uh, roll back and basically it's exactly the same as Fedora Silver Blue but uh, Silver Blue uses the you know, desktop so let's take a look at how to get this thing up and running and installed so um, just into find Fedora so uh, I'm just going to say it's silver blue because it is basically silver blue. Uh, I don't know, it kicks a memory. When you get hard drive. Cannot wait. I don't know what that means. And let this thing start up. And then still Fedora 38 Kinoite. Now there will always be distros out there that uh, aren't necessarily mutable, but do you think having the option out there is pretty worthwhile for people? And all of these type of things, especially if you can to do a product, maybe a mass appointment, might be worth it. Okay, Fedora 38, stretch and installation screen in here I see. Uh, these look right. Uh, that's correct. Uh, that's fine. I don't need a root account. Um, let's create it. Details here. Acquire password to use account correct. Add to the wheel group or to pseudo correct. The begin install. Well, bam, that was quick. Okay, that's complete. That took about five minutes. It's rebooted and get this up and running. Okay, so let's log in. Okay, let's fix resolution. Canonites, right and and the display. And here we go. And of course from the outset it looks like any normal Fedora installation. But let me show you something. If I was for example going to to um is something that I want to install. So of course toolbox is essentially what it does is creates a virtual um install of Fedora Linux basically a server edition for your command line tools to develop the tools. So it's kind of like a just a box essentially. But if I was to on here do a normal DNF, command is not found. So you either can do a uh, toolbox for your application SLI uh, stuff, kind of like DistroBox. Uh, you can do RPM OS tree, which is basically manually installing R um, RPM files into the OS and expand itself out. And it will stay there after doing reboots. And of course, the recommended way to install applications, GUI applications, of course, is Flatpaks. So toolbox, CLI apps and developer uh, CLI apps, which installs a virtual or what black like virtual uh, environment, basically based on the server, uh, flat packs GUI and RPM OS tree for RPM files that you need. So in this case, of course, 
at the moment I'm going to let this thing load and let's for the sake of everything create a couple of files here so in documents let's create a new folder and let's create a new text file Okay, we have some files here. Cool. And now we want to install an application on here. So firstly, I want to check the settings and it's got the Fedora Splat Packs repo. You can also add Flat Hub as well mm. by clicking Add Flat Hub. And thankfully, uh, that sorts itself out. And of course, when this thing updates, it, it updates it as an image all at once. Uh, that's just the way a, a distro like this uh, works. Uh, I, I want to just check here. Okay, so let's strip for some software that we can install. Okay, and do we have PLC pre-installed? No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to have PLC. And our sources either from the Flatpak, Central Repo, Fedora, um, I'm going to use obviously the fat pack here. That pack. Click install. And let it download. And in the meantime, this thing's going to be checking for an update. Uh, what I am going to do though is I'm going to download a RPM file. Uh, Microsoft Edge download. It's just because I want the RPM files. First thing I can think of, Linux RPM. Yes. Again, this you would install it via the flat pack. You wouldn't necessarily use RPM. You know, you get the RPM is for packages that aren't flat packs. But uh, I'm just going to do this for uh, demo while we wait for VLC to finish downloading. Okay. While we wait for everything here. Okay, it looks like it has installed VLC. So that's how I want to install a something like a wget. Right, here we're going to need toolbox with a toolbox for eight. And it's gonna download the latest version because I haven't specified. I'm gonna say yes. And that's gonna pull this down. Very similar to that's I've already mentioned distro box. All right, support already be installed. So do it here. Install. Go. We should. Okay, so it would not here. It's installed it. So I was to do that. We get. Or curl. Whatever it would be. Um, installed. Or let's say. Pseudo DNF. Pseudo DNF install DAF. Different way to look at uh, the free space on the machine. So I can just to DAF, and of course it, it will work. As if I was to exit this and just be normal Fedora, and DAF is not installed, and if I was to do sudo DNF install DAF, uh, TNF of course is not available. So that's the idea of, of toolbox. And of course, he would just do toolbox enter, enter it again, it's available. Right, so your CLI apps, your stuff there, would give in that uh, container. Okay, we've now got the flat pack for this, and here it's had a bit of a timeout issue fetching OS3. So here's an update. Okay, all well, that uh, doesn't respond. Let's look at the RPM. Okay, so RPM dash OS tree refresh dash MD. Okay, so now it's busy updating its uh, metadata and stuff for the RPM repos. So basically, the idea is that we're going to use RPM OS tree to install our RPM file. In this case, we're just installing uh, Microsoft Edge. Again, the idea is an app that you can't uh, 
fly, flying to uh, using flat packs or installing via the environment created uh, in toolboxes, I'm going to work. So let's uh, select this install. Okay, for a working directory, let's just check it to downloads. And there's Microsoft Edge. Okay, so my idea is RPM, OS tree, install Microsoft. Okay, so it's busy checking out the tree and checking the package out. And now you can see it's committing or writing to the OS tree. So basically it's taking the, the image and it is writing the file into the image. Okay, so remember because this is a image, anything you install with RPM OS tree, you're going to have to reboot. So system CTR reboot. Internet and Microsoft Edge is being installed. Fetching updates. You can see it's it wants to update the image from three point eighteen. Sorry, thirty eight one six. So I say update all. And now, what we're going to do is. We're going to let this uh, automatically update. Uh, so it's not going to pull down the view image. And uh, I'll resume the video once it's moved a bit more forward. Sure, it's uh, updated the image. So if I go restart now, uh, it should restart and uh, start up from the newly installed uh, Knight image. Okay, and you'll see it is it's updated as of an up terminal. Okay. System about let's discover. And the system has been successfully updated. And of course, a nice thing is we still have our locations here and there. Cool. Uh, and that's how you get a basic uh, Fedora uh, immutable system up and running. As always, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.